We're here at today's advancing team with Salisbury Seagulls in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Coach, any opening statements about today's game? Yeah, it, it's uh, you know the tale of two halves. Um, you know we have to be able to put uh, 60 minutes together, and um, you know we played not to lose in the first half instead of playing the win, and that's never uh, gets you good results. So you know I think you know we changed the tempo of the game uh, in the second half, and we came out ready to fight hard and win, and um, we got the goal, and all it takes is one. Uh, Ali, you put the, the one in the back of the cage. Um, take me through that penalty corner and what, what you know, how did you guys execute? Yeah, it, it was a very exciting corner. Um, Molly had a great run up the field to end up drawing it. We had just come right out of our halftime talk, which ended up pumping us up. And we're really a team that does build off of momentum. And so we had that great energy that fired up. Um, I believe it was the second of two corners that ended up um, playing out. And Mitch just dished it left. And I saw a great little opening spot and lifted it right in between the goalie's pads. So. It was a it was a nice play by Mitch. Christine, uh, York came came to play in the first first you know quarter first mm -hmm. half, and then they kind of picked picked up the pressure again in the second half or towards the end of the game. Uh, what was kind of the key to defense to make sure you know they can see the goal? I think definitely adjusting and communicating. So we've worked previously in practices on cutting down their big ball that goes down the center of the field and just having us communicate to the middies to stop that big ball down, I think helped us kind of not let them get down to the 16 and get as many corners, definitely. What was the big difference between the regular season game and this game, Coach? Well, I, 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 obviously, I think it was pretty much the same. I don't think there was really a, a big difference. Um, you know, we didn't play well the first time we played them. And, you know, we, we had a lot of corners, but we didn't capitalize on those corners. Um, and they still played as hard as they did today. And I think um, today we just had a soft first half, and we can't afford to do that. Okay, we've got to step it up from the start. Um, you know, we started off really well in the opening minute, and then um, we started to retreat instead of to go forward. And, you know, in a game like this, in a game, any games moving forward, you know, we got to work hard and we got to, we got have to move the ball forward and we have to play to win and, you know, we can't retreat. And we did a lot of retreating in the first half and um, I, I think we were just a little, little afraid to make a mistake and uh, you can't do that. You just got to go out and play your game. And hopefully we got the jitters out now and we can move forward tomorrow. Guys? Coach, what was the major difference that you saw in the second half compared to the first half? Well, we were putting pressure on the ball in the second half. Uh, we were kind of laying off of them in the first half, but second half we really started picking up the pressure. Um, we were denying their big ball through, and we were forcing them to go backwards, and that's what we needed to do from the start, and we didn't. We were just playing a little soft in the first half, and you can't afford to do that. Um, you know, this is, our, uh, this is our March Madness, so this is November Madness. Anything goes, and, you know, uh, you know a lot of big teams get knocked off. Off, and we got to be we got to be ready and on our toes and playing sharp the whole time and we just played a little soft um related to that do you think in the second half in terms of the turnaround do you think it was anything that York was or wasn't doing first to second half or was it mostly just you guys no we mindset? just made the adjustments that we needed to make at halftime and you know if I would have been able to call a timeout and you know a, a key timeout in the first half that would have probably been helpful but um you know we, we needed to make some adjustments. We made them at halftime, and, you know, we, we did what we needed to do in the second half, and that was apply the pressure that we're used to applying um, to come up with the ball and, and make big plays. And, you know, fortunately, we got that, and Allie came through again with a clutch goal. And, you know, I, I think our defense was really ster stellar today. You know, they were really tested um, from the get-go. Um, you know, at one point, I think they had three or four corners in a row in the first period, um, and they held strong. So. Um, you know, our, our defense was really, really solid. Uh, we, gotta, we, we have to play full field offense and full field defense, and we weren't getting that attack generated in the first half. Any, any preparation for Williams or Washington Elite for tomorrow's game? Hey, you know, we got to watch them and see see how they are. Williams is one of the top teams in the country. I mean, they're coming from the NESCAC. It's, um, you know, a great conference. They're constantly challenged day in, day out with the com competition that they play there. Um, they're going to be a really, really strong team. Um, Washington and Lee, um, you know, they're an AstroTurf team, so we'll see how they play on the surface. But, um, you know, it, it, 
at this t- point in the season, you just have to bring it, and you know we we have to be ready, we have to be on, and we have to recover quickly, which means you know uh, you know good fuel in us now and good rest, and you know we'll we'll take a peek at this game and and see how it goes and figure out what our strategy will be for tomorrow. But um, you know we, we got to play two halves.